Okay. Uh-oh. All right. All right. Bro. It's all right. Shout out to Dayton police for being like the most fucking... It's... By the way, I have to say this. This is fucked up. Holy shit. I didn't even know when I like picked this video. Female cop. Gun drawn, female cop, gun drawn, and dog does like it, it. Female, female cop. What? What? Why female cop being most competent cop on this scene? Oh God. Hang on. But female, female, she 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 showed she showed restraint. I. How bad is Dayton, Ohio? I I I get a, I'll put my headphones back. I I just she, dog doggo doesn't die. Female cop gun drawn already. Got gun female female other AT, ATF fed feds would have shot dog. Feds would have shot dog. JB is saying, "Are we sure this? Are we sure this female cop isn't a tranny? Uh, <laughs> that would be the ultimate tranny test, right? Oh, you're really a woman. Here's this pit bull charging at you, female officer. <laughs> it's like, oh, boom! <laughs> you're you just, or you just go, no, 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 buddy, buddy, come here, it's a good boy." You're like, you're a dude, faggot. <laughs> Holy shit, this is. This female officer hasn't killed this dog yet. And the dog, by the way, I love how people go like, oh, well, the dog was, you know, this is when that when when cops and and feds justified the dog was growling and the dog like ran at me but like even dogs that have been kind of growly and have run at me have like run against my leg and they're kind of being like it's this weird even with cats now i'm learning it like it's it, it's this, it, they're just psychopaths with guns that are like i work for the government and you're like yeah you don't have to shoot like most animals that even when they're like ah, if they start rubbing your on your leg they're not trying to tr like animals aren't smart enough to growl at you and then come at you and rub on your leg and they they're not that well, i'm gonna trick them after i growled like they'll kill you or they won't and if they start coming at you and they just rub and you shoot them it's like you're a fucking maniac <laughs> like it's just like i i've seen bro especially with cats now like cats are the most that's the highest level of dealing with psychopath animals and i've had just cats just <sighs> it's like the hand of god reached down from the heavens above I just thought it would be funny to do this. So there's Marsh talking about wishing me death and how I choke on it and the morphine doesn't help and I'm going to suffer. And then a day or two later, what happens? He has a horse seizure. Andy Deceptor says he did, he did it. It fucking work. All right. He needs to be the best. That was fucked up. 
<laughs> Was that a little fucked up? I think you just made horse noises, my dude. What the fuck was that? Like, bro, I got cancer and I've had multiple heart attacks. And I've never sounded like a horse once. There's never been one occasion where the cardiologist or the oncologist walked up to me and said, Hey, Jim, why are you sounding like a horse? What the fuck was that? <laughs> what was that? Are you speaking in tongues? Did the Holy Spirit enter you? Was your wrath so remarkable that you're speaking like uh, uh, like the Babylonians? Let's uh, let me let me see if I can let's replay that. Let's uh, let's replay that. We're gonna replay that. We're gonna look for the exact moment the horse seizure kicks in. <laughs> oh, it's coming. His body's about to fail him. He did, he did it. it fucking work. All right. He needs to be. Here he comes. That's the moment right there. Lights out. Glass Joe here has been knocked out by a vape pen. That's why he never went into boxing. No wonder he avoided that fight with Baked Alaska. Apparently inhaling is enough to drop his ass in round one. <laughs> it's either a horse or a Native American. Like, he's trying to do like an Indian impression. A very racist one, by the way. Is that a horse noise or a rain dance? Is he, is he praying for rain? Does his crops need water? <laughs> and down he goes. And down he goes. Our little horse, our stallion. Oh, he's never going to win that derby. <laughs> now, if you look very closely, very closely, you can see his googly eyes. I swear to God. I swear to you. You can see his googly eyes behind his glasses have gone Mr. Potato Head. And they are going in directions and bugging out in an in, in amount that shouldn't even be humanly possible. But this is a look of pure terror. He has lost complete control of his body. His Native American rain dance has failed. The horse noises have escaped him. He's possessed by something. And he is mortified. He's terrified. <laughs> Where am I? What's going on? I was fucked up. Oh, that is funny as shit. So there you are. You're Mersh. Oh, good old fuck up Mersh. Lovably fuckable upable Mersh. And you do a tirade about some dude on the internet who talked about your dick two years ago, wishing him death and suffering. And then a day later, a day later, you're having horse seizures live on the air. I don't know. I'd call that karmic. I call that it's a little bit karmic, wouldn't you, Chad? Am I wrong on this? Did he did he go Rama Rama? Was that what happened here? Oh, it's a possibility. Maybe he went Rama Rama on us. I don't know. God damn.